Welcome to Mason Talks. So earlier today, the Cleveland Browns played the New Orleans Saints in the Superdome in New Orleans. And it was a close competitive game. The Browns were really in it down to the very end. But once again, uh, the Browns lost and the Saints were able to pull away with a 21 to 18 victory. Once again, a very disappointing game for the Browns. They had a lot of good opportunities, a lot of good plays, a lot of moments where it looked like they were going to win the game, and once again, they didn't. The defense once again had a very, very strong showing. They didn't let Drew Brees, Alvin Kamara, and Michael Thomas destroy them all game. Uh, they really, only, the defense really held their own until the fourth quarter. The offense looked okay again. We really need to work on the run game. Our leading running back, Carlos Hyde, only averaged 2.7 yards per carry. That needs to be better if we're gonna focus our offense on running. <laughs> Tyrod Taylor really had a bounce back game. He was 22 for 30 for 246 yards. He had a costly interception late in the game, but he followed it up with a really clutch touchdown throw to Antonio Callaway, which tied the game at 18. But then of course, everything fell apart because of Zane Gonzalez. It's really not often for the Browns that one single player costs us a game. Usually it's a team effort when we lose, but Zane Gonzalez cost us this game. <laughs> Zane Gonzalez missed an extra point, a field goal, another extra point, and what would have been the game tying field goal all in a row. He missed all he missed four kicks, two of which are basically chip shots, and two of which are kicks we know he can make. He missed them all, and if he would have made one of them, it could have swung the game in another direction, and we could have won. But he couldn't even make one. He missed all four. The Browns really need to take the Josh Gordon route with Zane Gonzalez on Monday. And uh, I hope to never see him kick for the Browns ever again. It was really a soul-crushing game as a Browns fan because there were tons of moments in that game where it really seemed like we were going to win. Like we honestly should have won that football game, just like we should have won last week's football game. The Browns should have won this week. They should be 2-0. and How many should-haves are we going to have to deal with before we realize that maybe this is not the right regime for us? The Browns were this close to winning. How many almost wins are we going to have to deal with before we realize that Hugh Jackson is not a good football head coach? Like, I think with all the soul-crushing defeats, we start to forget to realize how historically bad this team has been for the past two years. We were one of the worst teams in all of football, and then we hired Hugh Jackson, and we got incredibly, significantly worse. And I know it's just a week two loss, and it was against a really good team in the Saints, but it's not just a week two loss. It's the 32nd loss that Hugh Jackson has had as the Browns head coach, and he's only given us one win and a stupid tie. They talk about it being a process. They say it takes time. We've added talented players. We've added a, a solid veteran quarterback. We added one of the best receivers in the league. We added a very, very, you know, sturdy veteran running back. And, you know, we, we have talent. We have Miles Garrett, who's one of the best defensive players in the league. We have a pretty good secondary. We have a really good defense. And they still can't win. The Browns have to be the least clutch team in all of football. Like literally everything could be going fine through three quarters. Like we had a lead, we had a two score lead going into the fourth quarter and it all falls apart. Like we literally, it's a cliche, but the Browns do find new ways to lose. I'm just sick of Hugh Jackson to be completely honest. I know we've had some bad teams of the years and I know we've had some really bad coaches, but they've at least been able to win more than one game in a season. The Browns next game is Thursday night against the Jets who are a very vulnerable team. They have the youngest starting quarterback in NFL history in Sam Darnold and I have very little faith that they're going to be able to win because of the coaching staff but also I'm, optim I, I, I'm not really optimistic now that I think about it but I love the Browns and I hope they win. <laughs> like I don't hate Hugh Jackson as a person. I hope he can succeed as a coach and pull off one of the biggest turnarounds in NFL history. But as of right now, with everything he's showed me, I have no faith in him 
at all to beat anybody. Like, I feel like we couldn't even beat CFL teams right now. You can talk about improvement all you want. Like, oh, this Browns team has improved. They're a new team. New mentality. They're, they're trending upwards. Show me a W first. Show me your second win as a coach first. But yeah, so the Browns lost to the Saints. They'll play New York on Thursday night. Let me know in the comments. Do you think the Browns can beat Sam Darnold and the Jets? Thanks for watching Mason Talks. Make sure you leave a like on this video. And make sure you subscribe to Mason Talks. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.